Hey guys, ATF here. Got a little video tonight. It's a little late for me making a video. It's uh, about 10 o'clock. I usually go to bed around 10.30. But anyways, um, I got a request earlier today from a uh, fellow uh, Top Gun, oh, excuse me, 685. And uh, he asked me um, if I could do a paramilitary update. And, um, okay, paramilitary too, sorry about that. But, uh, and I haven't taken a request in quite a while, uh, because I just simply kind of like to do things my way. Um, but, um, I thought, you know what, that's actually a very good idea, um, because it's been, what, two weeks now or so? Um, so, here it is. Uh, the knife is held up well, handle, let's see, handle held up well, Blade is held up, whoa, held up well, um, no problems, no scratches, no, no bending of the pocket clip, um, compression lock works like a charm, you can even do what I just did, um, and compress it and flick the knife out, kind of cool like that, um, yeah, let's show you the other ways, regular thumb, there's the, um, middle finger like that there's the upside down middle finger oh well you get the point uh... not the most comfortable knife in reverse grip i think somebody has said that before but uh... and then this one which requires a little bit of acrobatics wow chop those water bottles Whoosh. uh... <laughs> oh but yeah and sorry i'm, I'm kinda sick the uh, pollen in the air has kind of got to my nose and attacked it. So, um, sorry for that. <laughs> Just had to prove my point. Anyways, um, yeah, the, uh, okay, so anyways, one of the questions he asked, actually the only question he asked, was, um, is there still play? And yes, there is. Um, on the original video, Knife Center Unboxing, which I will put in the underbar tomorrow, otherwise just check out my channel, um, I uh, unboxed this and to uh, my disappointment, there was some side to side blade play. No up and down, but a little bit side to side. And uh, well, I ignored that and, you know, have been enjoying the knife for what it is. And, uh, but yeah, it still has the blade play. Um, now, I told several people this on that Knife Center video. Uh, if I tighten the pivot just a little bit, that little bit ended up being too much. And um, it was totally just inoperable, in unopenable, <laughs> um, one-handed. I mean, it was like, uh, I mean, it was really bad. I just sounded constipated right there. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was really bad. Um, so I just kind of loosened it back, and hey, there's still some blade play, but you know what? Um, also, oh, siren in the distance. Um, and the other day, let me actually set the camera down one second. You're going to actually, your world is going to go black. Whoops, nope, there's me, just kidding. Um, but it's actually, I don't know how this has happened, but it's actually acquired a very tad smidgen of up and down blade play. How did that happen? I haven't a clue in the world. But there is some. And that is a slight disappointment for one, being this is a Spyderco. Um, for two, this is a $100 Spyderco. And it's just, you know, it's kind of a disappointment, but at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know. I, I just kind of am loving the knife for what it is, like I said earlier. If it gets worse, as I've told others, um, I'll, I'll just ship it back to Spyderco and, and they can fix it. I'm sure they will. I've never had a deal with Spyderco like that um, because I've only owned like three of their knives, but um, two Dragonflies and Endura, but whatever. I'm kind of rambling now, so. There's that, um, Top Gun, I hope that helped. Anyone else, if you have questions, feel free, again, to put them in, well, the comment section. I was going to say the underbar. But, um, alright guys, 
So you all take care. Adios. Oh, by the way, hope you had a happy Cinco de Mayo.